Hello viewers, this is Gina. In this video, you will be learning the French Revolution. In the last three videos, we have already discussed about the pre-existing social structure of France, the main causes of the French Revolution, how it started, that is the Bastille incident and the Great Fair, then reformations in political governance under various constitutional declarations starting from ruling of the National Assembly which declared France a constitutional monarchy then the formation of the convention that declared the French Republic but later it led to the reign of terror then the directory ruling France with a bicameral legislative system but there were classes among the representative members and lastly all these chaotic situations and political upheavals pave a way for the rise of the napoleonic era under an army general named napoleon bonaparte which is marked as the end of the french revolution in this video we will discuss about the social reforms or the impacts of the French Revolution in the French society with special discussion on abolition of censorship, abolition of slavery and French women during the revolution. Social reforms or the impacts of the French Revolution. The French Revolution had a great and far-reaching impact that probably transformed France and other parts of the world more than any other revolution. It is because the French Revolution was a time when the poor fought for liberty and equality, which also ideally inspired people in other countries even far after it ended. Its repercussions also include rise of modern nationalism, spread of liberalism, and igniting the age of revolutions. In France, the French Revolution brought changes in social and political structure of the country. Socially, it saw changes in lives of men, women, and children. For instance, the weaker or lower sections of the people, especially those in the third state, did not have any idea about liberty, equality, or freedom of expression but during and after the revolution they started raising their voice asking for voting rights equality etc and even deliberating their opinions such as what is right or wrong in the country politically it put an end to the french monarchy feudalism took political powers from the catholic church that is lessening the importance of religion especially in politics and governance among these impacts three areas which are abolition of censorship abolition of slavery and impacts of the revolution on french women can be discussed broadly firstly abolition of censorship what is censorship in most of the time you must have heard the term censure board while a movie is released or going to be released. It is a body comprised of some members who are authorized to do prior screening or watching a movie or film or theatrical performance before its publication or public release. This body have the right to improve or reject or suggest to exclude or modify some parts of the movie or film or theatrical performance or whatever if they find it obscene or politically unacceptable. So similarly, soon after the storming of the Bastille in 1789, censorship which was a system in the old regime that all written materials like books, newspapers, etc. and cultural activities like sewing, plays or songs, etc. were published or performed only after having approved by the censure, that is officials of the king. So, all these materials and performances were done through 
um, the monarch's viewpoints. But after the declaration of the rights of man and citizen by the National Assembly, freedom of speech and expression became the natural right. So not only the king's viewpoints, but also opinions of its people, especially of those lower sections within the third state, were allowed to express publicly. Then newspapers, pamphlets, books, and printed pictures describing the events and expressing messages of, uh, of new ideas rapidly flooded and spread throughout the towns and countryside of France. This evolution of censorship not only gave the chance to express the supporting views, but also the opposing views of events happened during the time. So each side sought to convince the others of its position through the medium of print. Besides, play, song and festive procession attracted and even convinced larger number of people including majority of those like peasant, artisan and laborers who could not read and write. Now, abolition of slavery. Slavery or slave trade was started in the 17th century in France. The main reason for firstly introducing slavery was that there was a shortage of labor in the plantation of profitable and highly demanded commodities like tobacco, indigo, sugar, and coffee. These plantations were mostly done in the French colonies in the Caribbean islands. Uh, some of them are Martinique, Guadeloupe, and San Domingo. All these islands were under overseas administration of France in the Caribbean Sea. Therefore, a triangular tra slave trade between Europe, Europe continent, African continent, and the American continent was started in such a way that French merchants sell from the port of Bordeaux or Nantes in France, that is in Europe, to the African coast, uh, that is different ports in the African continent. From there, these European merchants, here I said European merchants instead of French merchants, because not only France, but also other colonial rulers like the Great Britain, Portugal, etc. also did the slave trade. So these European merchants bought slaves from local chieftains, that is from the um, African coast. These bought slaves were again sold to the plantation owners in Americas, including those French colonies in Caribbean island. Then their products, the, their, that is their finished products were brought to Europe for consumption. In those days, these slaves, that is African Negroes, were not treated as a human being, but just like an animal. They were branded, shackled, or packed tightly into ships for the three months long voyage across the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean islands or other part of the American continent. Here, could you imagine how their conditions might be? On the other hand, French port cities like Bordeaux and Nantes owned their economic prosperities to this flourishing, that is, booming slave trade. In this map shown here, you could easily see these two port cities of France. Till the French Revolution, that is during the old regime, no one challenged or criticized the slavery in France. Initially, within the National Assembly, there was a long debate about whether the rights of man should be extended to all French citizens, including those in the colonies. But any law on abolition of slavery could not be passed 
due to the opposition from businessmen whose income were dependent on the slave trade later the convention that is a jacobin regime legislated to free all slaves in the french overseas possessions in 1794 it was one of the most revolutionary social reforms of the jacobin regime however this abolition of slavery became only a short term measures of 10 years when napoleon reintroduced slavery plantation owners and businessmen understood their freedom as including the right to enslave african negroes in pursuit of their economic interests only in 1894 slavery was finally abolished in french colonies then french women during the revolution or the impacts of the revolution on french women in the pre revolutionary france all women whether belonging to noble family or clergy or any other higher class had no political rights it means they could not vote or hold any political office they were considered as passive citizens rather they had to rely on men to determine what the best was for them in the government however this women could no longer be isolated from the social political sphere of the society during the french revolution besides they were also inspired and influenced like their male counterpart that is men men, men folk of the society by the ideas of liberty and democratic rights since the beginning of the revolution many of french women actively participated in the events like mass gathering and forming a people's militia just before the attack of bastille or an a uh, mass marching to versailles this picture shown here is showing women's marching to versailles these women expected their involvement would be uh sorry these women expected that their involvement would be recognized by the revolutionary government and would bring measures to improve their lives meanwhile they are not exempted from their traditional roles like in every society women had to perform all domestic or household chores rearing children and taking care of elders and other family members in addition most women of the third state had to work for a living they work as seamstresses or laundresses or sold flower fruit and vegetables at the market or were employed as domestic servants in the houses of prosperous people also most women did not have access to education or job training only daughters of nobles or wealthier members of the third state could study at the convent but after which they their families especially their fathers arranged a marriage for them that means there was no career option for women even if working they still had to care for their families such as cooking fetching water queuing up for bread and looking after the children and their wages were lower than those of men that means they would be paid lower than men even though they did some same work in same duration then women's role during war during the revolutionary wars within and outside france while the men were away fighting at the front or busy involving in the revolution most of women took the responsibilities to earn their living and looking after their family these women were also influenced by philosophers ideas of liberty equality and democratic rights 
so they became more active more political and unavoidable social forces for instance they even stormed into shops after intolerably spending hours in long queues at the bakery that means they also started asking questions and revolting against the old social system in the midst of social and political changes in french society many women joined various political club and even they started their political clubs and newspapers in order to discuss and voice their interests for instance the society of revolutionary and republican women was one of the prominent women's political club during the time just like the jacobins club so let's try to know about the society of revolutionary and republican women because it was the most prominent that is famous among nearly 60 women's club which were formed in different french societies one of their main demands was women to be entitled the same political rights as men in other words they strongly demanded the right to vote right to be elected to the assembly and right to hold their political rights they believed that by getting such rights could only represent their interests that is interests of women as a whole in the new government and consequently implement the relevant laws and policies however the french women were disappointed when the constitution of 1791 that is under the national assembly reduced them to a passive citizen during the reign of terror these women's spaces were shut down the jacobins government issued laws ordering closure of this women's club and banning their political activities many prominent women were arrested and a number of them were executed on the charges of treason so some positive impacts on women can be seen even though there are lots of negative impacts we have discussed in the previous slides in spite of this status of being passive citizens the revolutionary government in the early years introduced some laws to improve the lives of women together with the creation of state schools schooling that is education was made compulsory for all girls earlier a daughter generally did not have choices of selecting her husband or deciding when to get married but this revolutionary government introduced a law saying that their father could no longer force their daughters into marriage against their will so marriage was made into a mutual contract between the man and women woman and it and and this marriage should be registered under the civil law besides divorce was also made legal and could be applied by both women and men earlier women could not apply for divorce against her husband then women could now train for jobs even they could become an artist or run a small business that means they had the right to choose their occupation however during the reign of terror women's spaces were shut down like i said uh, in the previous video the jacobin government um, issued laws ordering closure of this women's club and banning their political activities and also many prominent women were arrested and even killed now the inspiration of women's political activities over the period of the french revolution many women's club were closed and their political activities were banned by the government In fact, the political activities of French women during the revolutionary years were 
were kept alive as an inspiring memories globally in suffrage movement and women's movement for political rights and equal wages. However, it was only in 1946 that women in France won the right to vote. It means these French women during the revolution still had a long way to struggle and revolt to get the political right which is equal to their male counterparts. Now, it would be very interesting to know the, about the life of a revolutionary women whose name is Olympe de Gauges, 1748 to 1793. Olympe de Gauges was one of the most important politically active women in revolutionary France. She protested against the constitution and the declaration of rights of man and citizen as the excluded women from basic rights that each human being was entitled to. So, in 1791, she wrote a declaration of the rights of women and citizens, just like the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen, in which she addressed to the Queen and to the members of the National Assembly, demanding that they act upon it. In 1793, Olympe de Gauges criticized the Jacobin government for forcibly closing down women's club and their, act and their political activities. So she was tried by the National Convention under Maximilian Robespierre, charging her with treason. Soon after this, she was executed, that is, she was killed. Thus, we can conclude here that during the French Revolution, France had gone through various forms of governments, administrations, political reformations, and socio-economic impacts. It resulted in the end of monarchy, suppression of the feudal system, liberation of individuals, abolition of privileges by birth, and nominal establishment of equality among men. Some of its great achievements, like the declaration of the rights of man and citizens, inspired movements in other parts of the world. That is, it inspired globally. So, the ideologies, values, institutions during the revolution still dominate today's politics in France as well as other countries. It is one of the foundations for modern political ideas such as liberty, freedom, equality and democratic rights of the people. It also accelerates the growth of republics and democracy. Here, republic means a form of government whose head of the state is not a monarch but an elected representative of people. And democracy refers to a political orientation of those who favor government by the people or by their elected representatives. In the next video, which should be uploaded in next week, we we'll start and discuss on a new chapter that is socialism in Europe and Russian Revolution. I hope you like my video. You can leave any query or comment or suggestions in the comment boxes. So if you find it useful, please subscribe and share my videos and keep on watching. Thank you.